Hello, Steve Abuzid here again, and in this new video, I want to give you an overview about SEO Press Free, which is an SEO plugin that I keep using for all of my WordPress website. Actually, I've been using the plugin for at least four or five years now. I like it since it came out. I keep using it for my websites and also for my clients' websites. And for this video, I want to give you an overview or a snapshot about the main functions or options that you need to enable or disable inside SEO Press. I'll speak about the free version of SEO Press. If you like me to make another video for SEO Pro, please leave me a comment down below. Now, let me show you the main functions of this plugin. Of course, you first you need to install the plugin, and you can do this by clicking Add New under your plugins. Search for SEO Press, install, and activate the plugin. And once you install and activate the plugin, you'll find a new item called SEO. And here you'll find, I think, like eight items, the dashboard titles and other items here. I will go through all of these items now and speak about the main options that you need to take care of when you are using SEO Press. Because sometimes maybe you'll make like a mistake or you enable or disable something that can negatively affect your SEO effort for your WordPress website. So let's start with the dashboard screen. And the main function of the uh, dashboard screen is that it will enable you to activate or deactivate certain features or functions inside SEO Press. For example, if you don't like to use the analytics feature, you can just switch it off from here or turn it off or deactivate the feature from the dashboard screen. But I like to keep it activated. And also it will give you like um, notifications about maybe you have some issues inside your WordPress website when it comes to SEO. It will give you like notifications. For example, this demo website have like nine notifications. Some of them are four are political, two are important, and three are informative notifications. Of course, you need to go to and see all of these notifications and decide if these are real uh, uh, errors or you can just disregard them. And for the titles and metas screen, here you'll find like again like five, I think, some screens. The first one is the home and here you can add your main separator if you are using, I mean, this is the global separator that you will be using. If you want to change your site title, you can change it from here or you can just give an alternative site title and also meta description, general meta description for your WordPress website because the meta description is taken from your tagline. I recommend that you change this meta description. Under the post types screen here, you can just enable or disable the meta box, which is a box that I'm going to show you this box, which will help you like customize your meta description, meta title, and also some other functions of uh, SEO press. You can just enable or disable this uh, function for your posts or articles and your pages. And if you have installed another plugin, maybe for example, like the WooCommerce plugin to create an online store for your WordPress website, you'll find another post type here called maybe like WooCommerce products. You can choose again to enable or disable the SEO meta box from this screen and also can make some global changes from here. For example, if you like to, if you are creating an online course for your WordPress website using Lindash, you'll find a new post type here called courses. If you like to globally de-index your courses pages from the search engines, you can just do this from here by choosing this option here. Of course, you can choose to non follow this as well. And for the archives, you will have similar options. For the author archives, you can just choose to non index the author archives, the date archives, and also the search results and the 404 archives. I like to de index or non index the author archives and also the date archives to um, avoid the duplicate content issue for Google, for example. And for the taxonomies, you will have similar options here. And for the advanced, here you'll find some other options. The main one is that I like to activate is the add, add no index meta robots for all paginated archive pages, which means that if you have like a large uh, website with many articles, these articles will be paginated into different pages. For example, page one of your art of your blog of your blog will have like 10 articles. Page number two will have like 10 other articles. Page number three will have like other 10 articles as well. And when you click in these uh, pages, you'll find blog page one, blog page two, this is inside your URL. This again can cause or lead to a duplicate content issue for Google, for example, and other search engines. So I like just to non-index these paginated archive pages and then click save changes. 
And now let's move to the XML and HTML sitemap. And the main function of the XML and HTML sitemap is that it gives you an access to an auto-generated URL that you need to submit to Google Search Console to make it easy for Google to discover your posts and pages to help you rank better in Google and other search engines. So you just take this URL and submit it to Google, I think, for through the Search Console, the Google Search Console. Um, if you are using Microsoft or Bing, you need to know which service that you are providing to uh, submit your sitemap. And here, of course, you can just, you know, disable the uh, generation of XML sitemap. And if you want to enable the image sitemap, you can just enable it from here. The author sitemap, you can just enable it from here. And for the post types, here you can choose which post type you like to be included inside your sitemap. Of course, you need to include all of your posts and pages inside your sitemap, again, to make it easy for Google to find your own website. The same happens for the taxonomies. If you like to submit your categories and tags, you can just choose to include them inside your sitemap from here. Personally speaking, I don't like to include both categories and tags. I choose one of them. And the usual, I like to include my categories pages. So I just uncheck this and click Save Changes. And for the HTML sitemap, here you will have access to a short code. Sometimes, I think you can, you see this sometimes, you'll find at the footer of some websites, you'll find a link called Sitemap. Once you click this sitemap, it you will be directed into a new page that give you like the hierarchy of the complete website. This can be auto-generated through this short code, which is given by SEOpress. So we just need to copy this short code and add it to any new plank or to any new page and call it uh, HTML sitemap. And once you add this short code, you'll find a list from for all of your website pages, posts. Of course, these are the pages and posts that you have allowed to be discovered by Google or to be indexed by Google and other search engines. This is a very handy feature, by the way. Now let's move to the social networks tab. And here you'll find that you can add information for your knowledge graph, which is an important step for your SEO effort. You can choose which type of are you a person organization. You just can choose organization and add your name, logo, and your phone number and some other items here that again can help you boost your SEO offers. And of course you can connect your social networks, add your open graph for Facebook and Twitter card here as well. Now let's go to the analytics part. And here for the analytics screen, actually it has two main functions. The first function is that it will enable you to connect SEO press for other services such as Google Analytics, for example. You can just connect uh, your Google Analytics code through maybe you choosing this function and add here your measurement ID for Google Analytics 4 because this is the latest version of Google Analytics and also you can track maybe uh, Google Optimize but I think this is like this will be like stopped soon in September I think and also you can add your Google Ads uh, conversion tracking here and some other tracking events inside this page. And for the Matumu and Clarity, these are two other services. You can use SEOpress to connect with these other two services. And the field, the cookie bar and GDPR, this is the second main function inside the analytics screen because now you can create like a cookie consent or accept bar inside the WordPress website to give people the option to choose if you like to track them or not. This is relevant to the DBR laws, so make sure that you check this if you like to, you know, to enable uh, this feature using the SEO press. For the custom tracking here, you can add maybe something like your Facebook ads uh, tracking. You can add it inside SEO press, but I like to use a separate plugin for all of my custom tracking events. Now let's go to the instant indexing. And this is a brilliant feature inside SEO press. Simply speaking, instant indexing help you notify Google and other search engines of any changes that you have made for your WordPress website. For example, if maybe you have updated a blog post, you need to take the URL and give it to Google to let, the, to let Google know that you have made an update for this uh, article or this page. But the beauty of SEO Press is that it has this instant indexing option, which makes it easy for you to submit your changes. So once you make a change for your post or page, you'll find that SEO Press automatically submit this change to Google and other search engines. But there is a tricky part that for this function to work is that you need to go to settings 
and follow all of the documentation provided by SEO Press to get like an indexing API from Google. And this is an easy um, process. It can take like 10 minutes from your time, but then I mean, it will save you a ton of time in the future. And also you can uh, connect this with Bing indexing API key also. So let's go to the advanced part. And here you'll find some options relevant to maybe your image SEO. If you like to know to index your uh, your uh, images, you can just go through these functions here or these options here. Let's go to the advanced. There is nothing important or general here. Appearance and security. This this is relevant about you know if you like to enable the SEO Prex meta inboxes meta boxes for administrators and some other like major functions now let's speak about the seo press meta box and let you know how you can use it so let me quickly open one of my website pages so this is the services page of this website and at the bottom of the page you'll find a new meta box this is the seo meta box you can just close it from here and also from here all of these are the functions these two boxes the seo and meta and content analysis are added by default by seo press so let me open the first one and here you can make changes to your title settings, to your social settings, and also find some information about the advanced and the redirection. Let me show you what all of this means. So for the title settings, here you can change the title that will show up inside Google search results, for example. This is a preview of the results itself. So if you like, I think this title is not pretty. I mean, it's not attractive. Maybe you need to change it to something like uh, the best, uh, uh, the interior design services. So let me, just to change it very quickly. So I change it to the best interior design services in New York. I think now this title is more attractive. And you know the idea. I mean, this title and meta description option will give you the freedom to change how does your title and meta description look like for the search results. And for the social tab, here you can make changes to how this page will look like inside your social posts for example if you publish this page inside facebook or twitter you can customize how it should look like for example i like to this i mean this image is taken as is taken from the featured image this is the featured image of the page i like to customize it maybe add some text to it to make it more attractive or eye-catching for the people who are scrolling across their facebook timeline i like this idea and for the advanced of course, you can make the same for the uh, Facebook and Twitter. And if you're using LinkedIn, I think it takes the Facebook uh, preview from here. For the advanced here, again, you can, you know, maybe you like to non-index this page. For example, if you are creating a lead magnet and you are delivering the lead magnet, for example, a checklist or a PDF or even an online course, and you are creating this PDF or delivering this PDF in a page, in a separate page, and you don't like people to discover this page while they are browsing your website. You can just de-index or not index this page by choosing this option from here. And again, of course, you can just you can choose don't follow links from this page. And for the redirection option, if you like to uh, redirect people who visit this page to another page. For example, uh, in one of my websites, I had two pages they were ranking or they were conflicting inside the search results. So I had to like delete or stop one of these pages uh, from showing up in the Google search results. But still people keep visiting this page. So I wanted to redirect the visitors to another page. So what I did was that I made some changes for the page under the redirections and added the new URL under the URL redirection tab right here to redirect the visitors of the old page to the new page. So this was a quick overview about how you can use the SEO press free copy. Again, if you will want me to make another video for the pro plugin of SEO press, please leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a like and also please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I create similar videos every single day that will help you make a better WordPress website. Now, thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye for now.